We're joined now from Los Angeles by the distinguished author and observer of American politics, Gore Vidal. Uh, Mr. Vidal, thank you very much for um, coming in. Are you excited by all this? Yes, I did expect this. I didn't think it would be so easy that he would get it uh, without a kind of eruption of some sort. And uh, luckily, that eruption has not yet taken place. What kind of eruption are you talking about? Well, may I talk the facts of life to you? I, the BBC audience I know very well, and they like the facts of life. The fact of life is that the Republican, you think of the Republican Party as a party, like, like, like uh, the British Conservative Party. Well, it isn't. I don't say the, the British uh, Conservative Party is much better, but I'm only saying the Republican Party is a mindset. They love war. They love money. They're out to hang on to all the connections that they have through W. Bush and also all that they have through their various operatives. Are you saying you thought that there would be dirtier tricks played in this campaign than materialized in reality? Is that what you're saying? I don't know what you're saying that I'm saying. Would you do it again? Yes, I'm saying you said that you expected something worse to happen. Are you saying you expected the Republicans, in order to remain in power, to uh, pull tricks during this campaign, which in the end didn't materialize? I hinted at that. I hinted at that. I thought you would take the hint and not take it as a statement of reality. Why shouldn't I take it as a statement of reality? I don't know why you would, because I don't know who you are. <laughs> well, I, I, I know who you are, Mr. Vidal, and uh, you were... Well, a... you're one up on me. <laughs> <laughs> you, were, you, were a, you were a great supporter of uh, the Kennedys and that, that era. What's your reaction to this election in terms of the race of the president? Do you think it's going to have a huge am... impact on this country? If you let me talk, I am thrilled. Thrilled. I was brought up in Washington, D.C., an all-black city, in the house of the most powerful senator of the days, Thomas Pryor Gore, who was president of the Senate. I was brought up in the heart of this and in the heart of the race war. And my grandfather was as good as anybody could be on this who came from Mississippi, which I'm preparing myself it's not always that good, but it was pretty good. I know the territory. I'm surprised you even asked me, because I know too much about the subject. You like to get people who don't know much about the subject. It's your turn. Well, I think, as you might say, we'll quit while we're ahead, Mr. Vidal. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. So. Uh, well, that was fun and, un and, un and unexpected. <laughs> um, oh. Where are we?